Tonight, friends, family, and total strangers managed to raise a huge amount of money for the family of a local man killed on his way home from work by a suicidal driver. More than $48,000 has been raised so far for Doug Menegos's burial and his children's college fund. 10 News reporter Candace Crone was at the benefit in El Cajon and spoke to the family about why Menegos may have been a target on the road. Dozens of people packed the patio at Downtown Cafe to remember a husband and father killed by the selfish act of one driver. Friends and loved ones of Doug Minigo stayed well after a fundraiser for his family ended Friday to share fond memories of him. Many of their stories were very similar. He had a heart of gold. He'd help anybody. Anybody. He was a wonderful, wonderful person. He was epic. Good person. Friendly, beautiful smile, great spirit. Doug Minigos was killed last week by a wrong way driver who police say was suicidal. This 10 News virtual view shows how the crash happened. Minigos was headed north on the 67 approaching Maple View when 29 year old Trista Steyer deliberately drove her truck the wrong way, colliding head on with Minigos. She bypassed a couple cars, is what I understand, and just went for him, headed right to him. So he was, he was the biggest target on the freeway. Family members say police have not told them what may have triggered the woman, leaving them with one simple question. I'd like to know why, but, but it just it doesn't make any sense. Friends and perfect strangers stuffed this box with cash to help pay for his funeral expenses. Pam Andrews, who's a close friend of the family, says she's grateful for the support and hopes people will keep the Minigos family in their prayers. Monetary is one thing, but you know, don't forget after this time is over, they still need you. Reporting in El Cajon, Candace Crone, 10 News.